Hi guys, today I'm going to be looking at my Colt licensed M4A1 by Cybergun. Now, I picked this gun up off Evike a little less than a year ago. I've had it for about 10 months, so I think I can do a pretty honest review. Um, internally, done nothing to this thing. Um, I haven't even replaced the hop up or the bucking. I'm thinking about doing that sometime soon, but it's accurate. Um, good range, yeah, I haven't done any internal upgrades to it, um, never had a single jam though, and it's just performed phenomenally, it's been a great workhorse for the time I've had it, and it will be a great workhorse for a number of years to come. Um, externally, it has the Colt trademarks, um, which I'm kind of bummed out with, they're not engraved, so they're just painted on there, so it's starting to wear off from my hand going on the magwell something to be aware of i just i wish they would have done them engraved it's just been a plus the selector switch is not crisp at all it, you just i've had been firing in semi and i'm a left-handed shooter so my finger just goes right on the selector switch and i bumped it into safety and then i go to fire and can't pull the trigger back so that's a con i have with the gun um another thing that i kind of don't like is it's front wired and that means no RAS rail unless you get something that can house the battery in front. So it really limits your options um, unless you run like a put a rail in front and get a peck box. Unless you rear wire it and throw on a crane stock. That's something to be aware of. Um, only external upgrades I did was put on a new flash hider and new stock. Um, I'm getting a red dot for it. Just tell my accuracy. Um, I run 0.25s. My range is fairly um, long. Uh, my FPS is about 380 FPS, so pretty good. Um, I can honestly say I'd recommend this for a beginner. It's a great beginner gun. Um, it's a somewhat higher price range for a budget gun, but you're getting something good. It's good internals. Um, I took apart the gearbox. It's performed well. Um, yeah, so I can I can just honestly recommend this gun to you if you're starting out airsoft. It's just great. I love it. Um, that's all I have to say with it. Oh, and the mag release is kind of touchy, so you can easily bump it and have your mag dropped out, which has happened to me like three times. One time we were ambushing someone. People were just coming up the trail. I turned the corner. I just started shooting. And my mag wasn't up all the way in there, and I just dry fired, and I had to get behind the tree, and then I lost three kills then, and they got taken out by other people on my team, so we still won the game, because we took everybody out, but it was a real bummer, but yeah, other than that, with this, um, the trademarks and the front front earring, it fires good, um, I replaced the 8.4 volt NIMH battery with a 9.6, just ups the rate of fire, trigger response is better, um, it lasts longer because it's higher milliamp hours, so it's just the one thing I would recommend doing out of the box is to get a new battery. Um, I will eventually replace the hop-up and put a new bucking in, but that's not really what I'm planning on doing right now, but this is just my first review and it's my first video, so yeah, I recommend this gun if you're a beginner, if you Want something that will perform for you a while? It performed for me for a year and hoping it will perform for me for a couple more years till I'm gotten my use out of this. I will eventually upgrade to a new gun, but at the moment it's really nice. Picked it up for $160, $40 off, only $200, so great gun. I'd recommend it.